We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for tonight's main event. Fighting ten rounds in the heavyweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a belt breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. The real deal, Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. He's targeting downstairs time and time again. Nichols' advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. Why is he doing this? Can, can you explain this right here? I mean, he's not doing anything. Either he's been hurt where we didn't see the punch early on, or right now he's thinking about getting out of there. He just doesn't want to fight anymore. He's broken down. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Look at that combination by Evander Holyfield. You need to keep that head moving. Halfway through round number one. Keep moving around the ring. Oh, good looking two punch combination by Evander Holyfield. A clean, crisp right hand by Kobe Nichols. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed a counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Ten seconds remaining in this round. And this round comes to an end. Evander Holyfield back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport and especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Unable to land clean by Evander Holyfield. See the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Halfway through round number two. Nice jabs there by Nichols. Nichols is banged by an uppercut. You see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Come on, get A little head hunting with the right. Whoa. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good solid one-two by Evander Holyfield. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? And round number three is underway. Keep it up.
What an excellent two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Nice work with the overhand right. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. A well-targeted classic one-two by Evander Holyfield. There's the combo downstairs. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Ah, get off the road. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Nichols. Come on, kid, focus. Teddy, I'm sure so many times you've been approached on the street by guys who say, yeah, I can fight. I fought a little bit. What's the biggest difference you've found through the years with the guys that think they're tough and the guys that are really in the gym? Well, when they're out in the street, somebody's going to usually stop it or you're going to pick up something, you can hit them. You don't have that, of course, in the ring. And also, maybe the most important thing, Joe, is you're not mad. You know, getting... Solid. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two... Nichols is now getting back up off the canvas. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And that does it for this round. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring. He needs to be in tight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Evander Holyfield. And now he's targeting upstairs. And another right hand comes in. Halfway through round number four. Holyfield swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Jab and a straight by Evander Holyfield. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Hooking to the body. And round four comes to an end. Evander Holyfield is able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Evander Holyfield's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. 
They're together. Keep that head moving. They're not focusing. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Evander Holyfield. Halfway into round number five here. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Huge right hand from Holyfield. Evander Holyfield's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Overhand right can be so effective. Took a shot, now he gives a left. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. Holyfield's power punching tonight has been on the mark throughout. You almost wonder if his opponent can take any more. Yeah, well, you wonder if his opponent gets insulted if you miss him. I mean, move your head. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Nicely timed, one, two. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Kobe Nichols. Nichols is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I've seen punches still get through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Holyfield connects with a huge right hand. Oh, and he stays downstairs. He's showing what his... Oh! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this?